New at 10, those two men are in custody, all thanks to the help of a couple Good Samaritans. They stopped to help the officer who was being attacked. WSBT 22's Heather Black joins us in the studio tonight. And Heather, for the first time, we're hearing from the officer and the man who helped him. Suzanne, the Michigan State Trooper described it as being in slow motion, even though it took about five minutes for everything to happen. The trooper says there was a moment where he began to think the worst. Michigan State Trooper Gary Guild was patrolling US 31 Monday morning when he clocked a motorcyclist going 92 miles an hour. Activated my overhead lights, got behind the motorcycle with about uh, two, three car lengths. Uh, he pulled over to the shoulder, slowed down briefly then sped away at a high, high rate of speed. Guild followed the driver to the Niles Buchanan exit. 20-year-old Michael Barber lost control and crashed. When Guild approached him, he didn't listen. That's when police say the two got into a physical altercation. Trying to secure him and secure my duty weapon into my holster, put it into the holster, and I'm on top of him trying to get him in trying to get his hands and get him in handcuffs. While restraining Barber, Guild saw 19-year-old Travis Wise sprinting towards him, but not to help. And next thing I know, I'm in full chokehold. He comes behind me and puts his elbow around my, my neck, and then he wrenches me back about uh, five to 10 feet. That's when Jerry Burnham happened to be driving by. While we're on our way down the bypass, we're headed towards Niles to get our taxes done. He came up on this scene, there was a motorcycle lane on the side of the road and a squad car. And then my wife started yelling that a police officer needed help and told me to stop and help. Burnham and another man pulled Wise off the trooper. They held him until help arrived. Burnham says he didn't think twice about helping. I really was still kind of in shock that I even got out to do something. I just did it. He was in need of help. And that's what we should do. And Burnham says several other cars passed by and even slowed down but didn't help. He says he was in the right place at the right time. Trooper Guild says he tries not to think about what could have happened without help from a good Samaritan. Suzanne.